Yeah, sure it can. And in general, one can say as an investor, one should always look a bit at long-term trends. And if you think about the aging of the population and the increasing healthcare needs that are apart from that, you look at technological innovation, you look at the need for environmental protection, climate change and so on. Those are trends obviously that are tailwind for many sectors and thematics. So it's always useful to look at that. And what we see is when you have a major macroeconomic or geopolitical shock, also this kind of thematics comes under pressure and we look at the first phases of the pandemic in 2020 we look at the war in ukraine and we look at the interest rate hikes because of the inflation spike you see that they also come under pressure which can give you an opportunity And this kind, indeed, this kind of corrections, they are, they are indeed an opportunity because you should obviously see if those long-term tailwinds that you identified that you like, if they're still valid, if the events that happen are either changing them or even, even reinforcing them. And in that case, the fact that you can buy this kind of promising long-term dynamics at a correction as severe as the general market is a strong opportunity. There are actually a couple of them when we think about climate and, and the need for to invest to protect the climate. But I would, I would bring forward also technology, automation, artificial intelligence. So if you think about labor shortages that we see everywhere in the world now, um, we should and we have to, we will have to automate much more. Because many services, many procedures, even in hospitals sometimes, procedures cannot be done because of a lack of shortage of labor of people. Um, so there is really need over the next years, if you look at the demographic changes and the pressures that will bring in terms of declining labor forces, even in major countries like, like China, we will have the need to invest much more in, in, in artificial intelligence and so on. So the technology sector and those segments of it uh, clearly are interesting in a long-term view. They obviously have suffered from the rise in the interest rates this year, but paradoxically they will also come or be part of the solution to this and so create their own positive future.